ولقد خلق ناکم سم سور ناکم ٹوڈے نا وی ہیو این ادر آیا وچ سپورٹس دی ویو آف دوز ہو بلیو ان ایولوشن آن دی بیسز آف قرآن دس آیا پلیز لک ٹو دی ورڈس ان دی بگننگ وی ہیو دی پرو ناؤن ان پلورل ولقد ولقد خلق ناکم and we created you and it is plural not ka kum summa sawarna kum then we gave you a form features summa kulna lil malaikati sjudu li adam and then we said to the angels prostrate before adam fasajadu all of them prostrated illa iblis except iblis lam yakun min as-sajideen He, not, he didn't join the prostrators. Now what does it mean? It can be taken to denote that a species was created first. And out of a species an individual was selected. And when the Ruh that was created much before the Ruh, the spirit of Adam was put in that individual of that species he became adam faiza sawaytuhu wa nafakhtu fihi min ruhi faqa'u lahu sajideen adam was not created as a single individual this aya can be taken to mean it because wa laqad khalaqnakum thumma sawarnakum thumma qulna lil malaikati asjudu li adam fa sajadu lil ibis So this, you know, goes in support of the view of those people. Although it can be interpreted in other ways also. That potentially in the creation of Adam, all the progeny of Adam was also included. That can also be meaning. So it can be interpreted in both ways. But apparently the verse, they grant support to those people who believe in evolution on the basis of the Quran. قَالَ مَا مَنَعَكَ أَلَّا تَسْجُدَ إِذَا بَرْتُكُ Allah said to him, asked, Iblis, what prevented you that you didn't prostrate before Adam when I had commanded you to do that? He said, I am better than him. You created me from fire. And you created him from dust, from clay. Nar is a very subtle thing. You know this dust and clay, very inner thing. Nar is very active. Nar is superior. Now he saw only the animal being of man which has come out from the clay. He couldn't see the ruh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was breathed into him, into Adam. So he was seeing only the material aspect of Adam. Not the spiritual aspect of Adam. So he said, well, this material aspect, in the material aspect, I am superior to him and it is correct. But Adam was superior, why? Because of that soul. When I have breathed into him from my own soul. Then you should fall down before him in prostration. Iblis couldn't see it. He saw only the material aspect. Allah said, Now go down from here. It not, it's not your right to be here, you know, and you know, insolent against Allah, arrogant against Allah. Now you get out from here and you are from among the disgraced creatures. And he requested, now grant me a respite till the day they are resurrected. This was the request. And it was granted by Allah. Qala, inna ka minan munzari, min, minan munzari. Okay. That respite is granted to you. You will live. The same jinn, Iblis, is living up till now. And he will be living till the day of resurrection. A very big exception. Very big exception. And he is the source of all evil on this earth. A book was written 
in this continent. I think it appeared in 1958, Bonds in the Game by William Guy Kerr. It was published in Toronto, I think, in Canada. And this book is, has described very fully well. There is one power, one center of all evil in this universe. And all these big leaders, and you know, they are like puppets being moved, you know, just like the puppets. All the revolutions that have taken place and all these big changes that are coming and all these, you know, big wars that have been fought. One source, and that is Iblis, no doubt. He is the enemy from the first day of Adam and his progeny. And he is the enemy till the last day of this world. And he has been given this chance and this respite. Okay, you try yourself. You try to take my bondsmen away from the right path. Let us see how many of them, they stick to the right path, despite your temptations and everything. So that is the basis of the struggle between khair and shar, between the good and the evil. Very good couplets from Allama Iqbal. Because this contest, you know, it is now going to be very severe, very soon. It's going to be reach its zenith very soon. Dunya ko hai phir maar kae ruho badan pesh. Tehzeeb ne phir apne darindho ko bhara. Allah ko paamar diye momin pe bharosa. Iblis ko Europe ki machino ka sahara. This conflict is going to intensify. Armageddon. Now it's not very far off. Al malhamatul uzma, as the Prophet said about it. Anyhow, Kala in the Gabinal Mundarin, Kala for Bima, Waitani, La Kordana, La Hum Seratakal Mustakin. He said, O Lord, now that you have sent me astray, you sent me astray, you degraded me. I will sit in ambush for them on thy straight path. I will attack them. I will attack them from their front, I mean Khalfaim, from their backs, one Amanahim from their right, one Shamailahim from their left. And you will not find most of them grateful to you. I will prove it, I will show it. Allah said, Get out from there, disgraced and expelled. Laman Tabea come in home. Whosoever from them follows you, I will fill my Jahannam with all of you. With you will go all the progeny of Adam who follow you. 